Hey, what's up everybody? The Canuck Reseller here. I uh, just got back from a quick uh, thrift store trip and thought I'd do a quick haul video to show you guys some of the stuff that I picked up uh, and why I picked it up. Um, in no particular order, this is a t-shirt from Bad Tattoo Brewing Company, which is in BC. I think it's on uh, Vancouver Island. Uh, paid three fifty for it. Um, it's in really nice shape. And any of the big name craft breweries seems like their their stuff sells pretty well. So I grab it when I see it. This one is oh, this is a uh, the tragically hip. Um, it's a T-shirt from their final tour in two thousand sixteen. Um, they are no longer together. Their lead singer has died, so um, their stuff tends to sell relatively well for me. Uh, the thrift store that I was at was having a 50% off sale on pants and jeans, so uh, this was a really nice find. Uh, these were marked $10, so I got them for 5 and they are cool is the brand. I've bought some of these before and sold them. They're like a, like a heavy duty men's work pant. They make hiking pants and that kind of stuff too. Um, so I paid $5 Canadian for these. I'll have to look up comps, but I, I should be able to get somewhere in the neighborhood of 40 or 50 US for these. Uh, so that's a, that's a nice find. At the same store, again, another pair of cool pants. These ones are size 34, 32, so they're a great size. Uh, like the other ones, you can see the knees are kind of gusseted. Um, paid a little bit more for these ones. These ones were uh, 20 bucks, but half price, so I paid 10. But again, they should flip for, uh, for 40 or 50 pretty easily. These are a pair of vintage Wranglers. Look at the tag on the inside. These ones are made in Canada, but this logo here, I don't know if you can see that or not, it's kind of faded. Um, it's Bluebell Denim. Bluebell was one of the big vintage denim manufacturers. Um, so these, I'm, I'm not quite certain of age. I'll have to, uh, I'll have to do some research. I'm thinking they're probably late 60s or early 70s. Again, they're a pretty decent size. They are 33, 34. Um, so just based on my gut and what I've sold in the past, I'm guessing those will probably flip for somewhere around 40 or $50. And last but not least from that store was uh, another brewery t-shirt. This one is Lagunitas. Uh, so this is a U.S. brewery, obviously. Uh, it was only $2.50, and uh, I'll probably throw it up for 16 or 17 US. Uh, next store that I ended up in, again they were doing 50% off pants and jeans. So these are Nudie brand jeans. Uh, so I paid nine bucks for them, which is a little more than I tend to like paying for, for pants and jeans. Uh, if I recall correctly, the last couple pairs of these that I've sold I think they turned uh, somewhere in the ballpark of uh, 30 or 40 bucks, so um, should should do relatively okay there. It's a pair of Levi's. Uh, these are the 541, uh, again in a great size, 34, 32. 541 is a newer cut of Levi's. Uh, it's their, I think they call it their athletic cut. Um, but these are in like brand new condition. It's a nice dark wash, um, so they should turn pretty nicely. Uh, always look for odd stuff when you're in the thrift store. This is, if you can't tell, this is a knee brace. So it's, uh, I don't know if you make that out or not, it's a Uniloader G2 is the model. Uh, it's made by a company called Osser. I think it's O-S-S-U-R if I recall correctly. And uh, I've, I've sold these in the past. So this one I paid $7 for. And if I recall correctly, 
this should turn somewhere in the ballpark of uh, 50 60 70 dollars us um, always look and just make sure kind of the straps aren't cruddy and gross uh, you make sure it'll clean up all right it's not worn out this one seems relatively good so i should uh, i should do quite quite nicely on that one again half price pants and jeans um, so these I paid half of 18 Canadian, so nine bucks, but they are brand new with the tags, Wranglers, uh, size 32, 36. Um, so they should uh, they should probably bring somewhere in the neighborhood of 30 or 40 dollars US. I'm guessing. This is a 1999 Texas A&M Aggies um, T-shirt. Uh, it's not old enough that it was um, that it was made in the U.S., but it's um, made in Honduras of U.S. components. Only two fifty. Um, a lot of the college football stuff seems to sell relatively well, so I grab it when it's cheap. This is a men's BMW t-shirt there's not really any branding on this i've i've gotten some before that have more branding on the sleeves or on the chest uh, this one's pretty low-key the only branding on it that i've seen is the the bmw m series logo kind of on the back shoulder uh, again this one was pretty cheap it was only 350 uh, and i'm guessing it'll probably sell somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, 18 20 dollars this is a cinch brand t-shirt uh, cinch is a western wear manufacturer um, that'll probably sell 15 or, or 16 dollars next is this is a mcgill university t-shirt uh, mcgill is in montreal quebec uh, i've had these before um, either in this color variation or I've had them red with white logo on the front uh, and they seem to sell relatively well this one was cheap it was only 250 um, so should go probably 16.99 somewhere in that neighborhood this is a rise against t-shirt rise against is a punk band uh, I've seen them a couple of times uh, this is from their 2014 tour um, tour t-shirts especially if they've got dates and city names on the back uh, they're one of my bread and butter items uh, they sell pretty well uh, sometimes they take a little while to sell but uh, but if there's a demand there they go next up is another brewery t-shirt this one is from Sierra Nevada um, again in really nice shape it almost looks like somebody bought it at the brewery Took it home and never wore it so uh, that one was pretty cheap it was 350 probably go in the mid to high teens this is looks like a vintage t-shirt but it's not so this is a rush t-shirt rush is a pretty iconic canadian band um this is actually the artwork off of the cover of one of their albums if i recall correctly but the shirt actually isn't vintage it's a newer one and it's a size 2xl so it might take a little bit of time to sell but uh it was only 250 and they've got a pretty devout following so i should do relatively well on that um, last but not least this is a t-shirt for a company called black rifle coffee company uh, i should know this but i believe they're here in alberta and there's the logo on the back um, I have bought and sold their shirts before and done relatively well on them uh, so I grabbed this one because it was cheap and that is it for today um, go kind of sort through this stuff and figure out how much it's gonna get listed for and uh, and get some listing done hope everyone's having a good day cheers